Now the reason why people are trying to get inside this room so desperately is because this is a top secret only for stuff. Now we are in the HTC Vive VR headset room and this is where the action happens and the future unravels. It's been about two or three years since we've heard about this virtual reality headset that you wear on your head and take a peek into the future. Well, today we are here in this room and we're going to see what the year 2020 looks like and what it is like to be immersed into the future. So this is one of the only three HTC Vive VR headsets in all of Asia. And I'm holding one in my hand that's pretty precious. HTC claims that this is the 99.9% .9 production model, although it's still a prototype, but they say this is going to be pretty much how it looks in the final production stage. Now, it's pretty cool looking because now if you can see this, if you haven't seen a virtual reality headset, this is what it looks like on the inside. These are the optics. You have a foam lining here. It's also adjustable, so you can have different kinds of foam if you wear spectacles, without spectacles. This is actually where the action happens and there are a total of 32 sensors, head tracking sensors uh, on the faceplate and also a front facing camera. And that is really what makes the HTC Vive different than Oculus Rift, its closest competitor. Of course, everybody wants to know what VR really looks like when you wear it on your head. So we can't really show you the real experience, but we'll try and get as close as possible by showing you what I am seeing. So what you'll see on the video, it's a split screen video. You'll see me wearing the headset on one side of the screen and on the other side of the screen is actually what I am seeing through my eyes and we'll try and portray that to you. So here goes. I'm in this experience called the blue and this is actually a shipwreck situation where I'm standing on the deck of the ship and I can look around me in a virtual 360 degree environment. As you can see, I can see all sorts of fish around me, manta rays, and I've been told that there'll be something really big, a nice surprise for me passing by. So I'm waiting for that. Kind of wary and kind of scared. In the meantime, I have to say that the resolution is fantastic. This is full HD. It's not quad HD. Okay, hang on. There's something coming. Uh, oh my God. This is an 80 foot long blue whale approaching me and almost makes me want to duck because it's so close to me. I can almost reach out to it and feel its fin passing me by. This is so cool. I'm in this experience called Surgeon VR. Now what it does is changes my controllers into virtual hands. Slightly chubby for my age. I'm not complaining though. And what I have to do is become a surgeon for a day. <laughs> Who thought that day would come, right? So I have to perform surgery on this Android. Basically a dead Android. I'm not being paid by Apple to say that. So as you can see, I can I can do all sorts of fun things with this little Android. And the cool thing about the HTC Vive is that because of the controllers have haptic feedback, you actually get some sense of, uh, of motion through the controllers that makes it a bit more real than just having non-haptic controllers. What I have to do here is try and pick up a tool, which is... Okay, it's not very realistic when you see the movements of the hand, but it still works because I did pick up an axe to perform surgery, yes and I had to break some things <laughs> and something just flew out of my hand so that's what I had to get out of the android and try and put it in this bin whoa high five high five I've had the most amazing 30 minutes of my life wearing the HTC Vive VR headset I have to be honest I was quite apprehensive about how it would make me feel inside when I'm wearing it but thanks to the multitude of sensors the two base stations on the opposite sides of the room it actually creates this environment that you can move around and alleviate some of that claustrophobia that you feel with other headsets that's also what makes this really stand out because it's the only one of its kind that allows you to game within a radius of either two or four square feet or go all the way to 15 square feet depending on, on your room size so really it is a great experience to wear. It's obviously the content that's very important as well. And Steam, uh, as everybody knows, is a pioneer in a great environments and creating that online and virtual world. Uh, so obviously they have a lot more games coming in. Currently there are about seven or eight different experiences that you can have on the HTC Vive. Clearly, your PC has to be cutting edge. You need a very heavy graphics card. You need high processing power. Uh, and that's not included in the price. 
What is included though in the price is the headset itself, the two wireless controllers, the two base stations uh, and you need to have your own pair of headphones. It could be wired or wireless Bluetooth that you can pair to your PC and you're ready to rock, you're ready to immerse yourself into a whole different environment and really, this really is a peek into the future. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like it, never experienced anything quite like it.